Indeed. Let's get you to some good news here. The College World Series continues tomorrow. Of course, LSU is playing Tennessee. Our Jacques Doucet is traveling with the Tigers ahead of all of the action. And get this, he caught up with a former LSU baseball champion who took his first trip to Omaha since their national title win in 2009. Jacques. Well, everyone knows the Pontiff name. Nick Pontiff, a national champion on the 2009 Tigers. Of course, his older brother, the late Wally Pontiff in 2000. And uh, come, to, come to see some baseball. Man, this is exciting. A little bit different venue, right? A little bit more professional feel. But um, I haven't been here since 09, and it's always been a dream to come back with Pops for Father's Day. And I was just telling you, uh, last weekend, little Nicholas, my, my, my son who's seven, he sat through the whole rain delay in the first game and didn't make a peep. And then he waited for three hours to let the game finish. I said, you earned your keep. You get to come. So he, he got the book of flight. So we're, we're, we're blessed to be here, catching a little baseball early on. Well, that is truly awesome. So your dad's here, your son's here, and you'll be here on Father's Day. Three generations. Where else would we want to be, right, for Father's Day? It's awesome. You played on a team which, years later, we got to fully respect the amount of guys that went to the major and yeah. how well they did. Yep. When you look at these guys, Paul Skeens and Dylan Cruz and Trey Morgan, what do you see? I mean, they're like the LSU of old, right? I mean, it's just not one after two after three after four. I mean, these guys are unbelievable, right? Like, I'm excited to watch them, what they do in pro ball. It seems like they got all the pieces that, that fit this year. You know, they've got all the pieces that fit. The bullpen's coming along late in the year, it seems to be. Lots of confidence, so it's exciting to watch. I know Jay Johnson has really made an effort to respect the past and to honor the past. What have your interactions with him been like? When Jay first came here, he had a hold to do with all the prior, all, all the previous baseball players, and he was very transparent in that meeting. And he said, hey, look, I want to honor the past. He brought in Coach Maneri. We all got to talk with him. And, and from what I gather, him and Skip have become really close, right? He mentor, Skip has been his mentor, and he's talked with Blair Barbie and a lot of the old players. So it feels like he's brought in a lot of the old energy. Not, not that Maneri didn't have it. He very much did. But he's bringing, in the, he's bringing the legacy from Maneri and Skip on, and it Look, it's a good mix, it seems to be. Well, great seeing you, Nick. I know that uh, you, your dad, your son, and of course, Wally will uh, will oh, bring thank you. will yep. bring the Tigers a title. Absolutely. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Thank you, Jock. Good seeing you. Yep. Thank you, Jock, indeed. By the way, we will check in with him a little bit later in sports. Plenty of folks stopped by Galveston.